Thank All you. right. Thanks, Matt. Matt Barry, we'll uh, see you later in the newscast. Tonight, investigators are trying to track down the person who torched several classic cars, putting a business in jeopardy. It happened on Christmas morning at the Mustang shop in Forney. And the crime was caught on tape. NBC 5's Amanda Guerra is live. And Amanda, how bad is that damage? Well, Deanna, it's absolutely incredible. Just take a look right here. This one car literally falling apart in my hands on the surveillance video. You can actually see the criminal smash these windows. And a few seconds later, these cars erupt into flames. Lit up by lightning, you can see the crook making his way to the classic cars parked outside the Mustang shop in Forney. The first thing he did is he went to destroy glass on all the vehicles. Uh, he started on this side mainly. One by one, the man made his way along the rows of Mustangs, smashing windshields, sending glass flying. After that came the flames. He lit this one first and then he lit that one. And when this one went, it just, it was just sudden, it just went. In the surveillance video, you can see the cars engulfed in fire. And in the light of day, there's nothing left. They're gone. They're completely gone. Um, the 69 is somewhat savable, but these two here, they're, they're just plain gone. Jared Gaultier says it's taken years to build up his business. And what happened here will set him back thousands. I think that someone that does this wouldn't hesitate to do it again to someone else. Now he just wants the crook caught before it happens again. I think somebody doesn't have any Christmas spirit, <laughs> but um, I don't have any words for it. I really couldn't even explain it. And back on live, you can see there's nothing left of that tire there. Now, Forney police are asking that you take a look at that surveillance video. If you recognize the person, have any information about what happened out here, you are asked to call police immediately. We're live tonight in Forney, Amanda Guerra, NBC5. Thanks, Amanda. Parents